Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 4 Mods, be your host Crypto, Crypto Gamer, and today we are taking a look at the Only Remnant Armor by Talib Gaddafi and it comes in at 13.16 megabytes, guys. This is a fantastic two-piece power armor set, it's very similar to the T45 experimental power armor that I did a video on um, earlier on in the week. And you're going to find it by going to Sanctuary, guys. And you're going to make your way round to the root cellar in Sanctuary. And when you go down the stairs, in the cellar itself, if you look to your left, up on the shelving unit, you will see the Enclave helmet. And on the barrel to the left of that will be the, the Acrobat's Enclave armor. Hey right, guys. This has a little bit of customization, as you will see. Um, this is what it looks like. The armor is quite nice. It's nice and folded up and packaged neatly. And it even has the wee fan on the back, as you will see in a moment. And the helmet is very reminiscent of the Fallout New Vegas style. I'm guessing this is basically a Fallout New Vegas version of the powered armor, which is rather nice, and it acts like it as well, to a degree. These armors have incredibly high stats, so these would be like end-game armors as far as I'm concerned. And you can also enter these in regular power armor. There are multiple paint jobs for this. It is, uh, this is the bare paint job that you'll see in a minute. And we'll put that onto our current one as well. And as you can see, it's very, very nice. It has a nice yellow fan in there at the back. And it's just a nice, uh, bare-looking power armor here at the moment. As you will see, there are about four or five different paints, and there are no miscellaneous mods, unfortunately. So you cannot do up this armor particularly well. This is the black paint that you will see here. Get ourselves into some light here. And yeah, I think it looks very, very nice. It looks very good in black. And it really makes the fan um, highlight out more. Yellow and black are always a good combination when it comes to these things. Now, there are also uh, a camel variant as well. It's rather nice. Looks not too bad, it's just a basic dark camel, but it gets the job done and it makes the power armor look a little bit more interesting. Kalib's so done very well making this mod so far. And of course, this is the last paint, the Ganon paint. The Ganon paint, I think what you actually meant to say was cannon colored paint. Um, which would mean the original color of the Remnant's Powered Armor. I think it looks personally um, at its best on the Ganon setting myself. Um, and as well as the paints, there are also different uh, logo variations as well. Um, none of these uh, logos are on the head armor, it's all on the lower portion of the armor. And as you can see on the top left of the breast there, that is the uh, emblems that you can change. Which I think was rather nice. <coughs> and here is the next one. And we'll take a look at the next one here. And yeah, it's just a little bit faded and rusty looking, but it's not too bad, guys. Not too bad overall. Right, guys. In a moment, what we are going to do is we are going to have a quick look at my sponsor, which is myself today, of course. Um, just through PayPal. So, link. You can always leave a small donation for the channel at paypal.me forward slash Johnny's Gaming. This is the correct PayPal account for my channel. I just can't change the name. Thanks very much for all your help and all your donations. 
Hey guys, if you want a free way to help out the channel and be able to donate some money, download the Brave Browser today. It's free of charge. And if you start watching the adverts, you can start donating basic attention token to me by going through and watching my YouTube channel on the Brave Browser. The link will be in the description below, guys. Now, guys, for the second part of this, um, we can also create a Tesla on Clave Armor from Fallout 3 and from Fallout New Vegas, which I think is very cool. It, it gives the uh, mod overall a little bit of weight to it, which is what I like, because I did find that had they not added in the second armor set, it would have been, even though it's a very, very low amount of memory it takes up in your load order, it would have been barely worth having. It would have just been one of them, basically, like a plug-in mod more than anything. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back through all the different paints. Basically, the Tesla armor and the Enclave armor are exactly the same, barring the visual effects, which are rather nice. You know... And uh, so, yeah, as you can see with the Tesla armor, the fan actually is spinning incredibly fast and it has an electrical like effect in the back, which I thought was really, really cool. Along with obviously seeing the Tesla's arcing between each of the emitters on the power armor itself. The power armor has basically all the same paint and logo colors as the original armor. So there's nothing majorly new there. However, I am going to go through it because I, I think they look very smart overall. And personally, I think this armor looks fantastic when you get into dark areas. Really makes your character stick out a fair bit. Makes your character look interesting. These armors are all compatible with going into power armor if you so desire to do so. Uh, I always find it quite comical seeing yourself going into power armor when you have already got power armor on. It's just a different type of power armor. And so, yeah, here it is here with the uh, camel paint, which is rather nice. I think it looks pretty cool there. And now we're going to put it into the cannon for both of these put together. And here is the Ganon paint, my preferred type of paint for this particular mod. East to the Rome, though, you know what I'm saying, guys. If you are enjoying the video, guys, remember, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps. And also comment on the video as well. Tell me what you think A of the video and B what you think of this mod and whether you're going to try it out. It all really helps with the algorithm, guys. So yeah, these are all the different logos now as well, guys, which are not too bad. So yeah, overall, I'm going to give this particular mod a solid 7 out of 10. It's a very baseline mod, but it's fantastic, and I really do like it. It's something that I'll probably mess around with for um, cinema and for general playthroughs. Right, well guys, this is basically us at the end of the video. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. This has been Crypto Gamer. Have a great day. Peace out.